Hola amigos, this is Somvid and welcome to CodePipe. We are currently designing UI UX for an e-commerce website. In the last video, we have seen how to meet with the client and get requirements, how to prepare a brief, how to prepare a persona. And in this video, we will see how we can move forward to make a wireframe. Now without wasting any time, let's get directly into it. For making a wireframe, there are some points we can keep in mind or how we can proceed. First of all, we can put our imagination what we are thinking about the website on a paper so that if it is not looking good, we can change it, we can modify it easily. After that, we can get some design software. Basically, I will be using Adobe XD, but there are other free or subscription based software available like Figma, which can be used for the UI design. For wireframe, we will get the material icons or material toolkit from the internet and basically Adobe XD also provides some free kit for the UI design. First thing what I do when I'm trying to design a UI is I will go to some websites. I will try to look for inspiration how I want to design the website here. Let me tell you some of the websites you can refer from where you can take the inspiration or you can see how others are designing so that you can have a view of your own. The first website I'm going to discuss is Pinterest.com. I believe this is very common and everyone is aware of it. We can create new boards where we can save our ideas that others have put on the internet. And using this, we can see how we want to proceed with the design. As you can see, I have collected quite a few samples. Next website that I would like to discuss is Behance. This is also a platform where a lot of freelancers and professionals put their design. So we can also take inspiration from here. This behaves mostly like Pinterest where we can save what we like and we can see there are different of designs. Next website is dribble.com with triple B. Here also we can find inspiration for not only e-commerce but a lot of other categories also. And we can see we have some very good designs available here. And the next website is nice.co nice with double I. This website provides advanced tool like creating our own mood board, our own collection of different styles, which is usually used by professionals. This website can behave as a one stop for professional designers and freelancers. And if we notice other sites which are Dribble and Behance also provides us the option to look for jobs or if we are looking for designers and if we want to work for someone, we can also do that on these sites. So if you are new in UI design, so you can find work here. You can put your work and you can also hire designers if you are an agency. So now we have gone through some designs. We have gone through some websites. Now let me show you what I have designed on paper. So this is the home page of my website, which I have tried to design. As you can see, I have used freehand drawing to uh, make a mock UI design or wireframe of the website. In the next videos, we will not be creating all the pages of the website because of the time constraint. So let me show you all the pages that I have designed so that it will be easy for you to understand. Or if you want to design it on your own, you can have a look at my design. So on the home page, I have provided support, email, contact, social share networks and the account on top. Then I have given logo, search option, wishlist, cart and the total amount of the products that are available in cart. Then I have a small navigation menu which will take us to home, wishlist, cart, blog, contact, accounts. Let me make a note here that this is a rough design and anytime in the process if we feel that wishlist and cart should not be here or blog should be first, we can make any changes while designing on the software. What I mean to say is we can make changes as we go along. Then I will make a deal of the day or offer of the day banner. I am giving this recommended for you and items from your wishlist because in the brief we have mentioned or in the requirement we have got that the home page should be customized according to the user. So user will feel that he is getting items that he wants. Then we will have a for him section as we are only making the site for men and women's fashion. Then again we will have a offer of the day or discount price. Then we will have a for her section and at the last we will have from the blog where we can put any blogs or news that the seller wants to share. 
and below that we will have the footer I didn't have the space here so I am putting it on the next page or the next web page this is my category page I have the navigation it is same as this one it will have all the support contact account uh, this search option this navigation so instead of writing this again and again I am just writing NAV below this we will have the small breadcrumbs the title of the page on the left side we will have filters on the right side we will have sort by search options which are clearly provided in the requirements then we have all the item cards we will have pagination at the down and below that we will have the footer where we will provide the logo of the company the contact details in next column we will have some common information like about a store locator refund policies and return policies etc then we will have account information profile wishlist card etc then we will have a newsletter section where user can put their email and they can subscribe to the newsletter or the blogs that we put next page we have product page the product detail page will have a main image on the left and some smaller images which are other images on the right or the bottom which I have not yet decided so I am keeping it as optional then we will have product name small description then we will have the rating from users which will be a average rating then we will have features of the product we will have the option to select colors and sizes then we will provide the price of the product discount info if there is any discount info then we will have buttons to add to cart and add to wishlist and under that we can have social share or we can have social share here we can provide any extra icons or information like free shipping refund policies customer support etc if we want at this section and after this we will have a review where the current user can provide review of this product after this section we will have a small customer review section where we will provide previous reviews of the product by other customers then we will have recommended items top selling items and recently viewed items to save some space I have provided both the list page and detail page at one section when we are the list page we can see uh, we have latest news or blogs and on top we have navigation on the card we will show the image topic author and date to be minimalistic and below this footer we can see the detailed page of the blog on the topic we will have the topic title author date we can have social media share options then the information and at the last we will have the footer on this page we have wishlist and cart again to save some time I have added both in one page for the wishlist we will have an image name of the product detail we can have size of the product we can have quantity of the product we can have the price size and quantity I am keeping and I will try to change it dynamically using Django then we will have two buttons for each item which will be add to cart or delete which makes sense then we will have the option of continue shopping which will redirect to the category page or we can go to cart so that we can proceed for checkout or if we are sure that we want to purchase all the items in the wishlist we can directly proceed to checkout so that we can skip the part where we have to go to cart to go to checkout and this is the option we are including where we are trying to make user checkout faster now in the cart page we will have the same navigation title breadcrumbs we will let the user know what is the progress of their checkout which means the user is currently on the cart page we will again provide the image detail size quantity price and action action will be uh, delete the item at the last we will provide the subtotal amount we will ask the user to put their name phone email and address on the right side we will have the payment info on the same page if they want to pay using PayPal stripe or any other option that we want to include and if we hit on checkout it will directly go to the payment page so this is again a try to make user checkout faster on this page we have our sign in and sign up page on the sign up we will ask for name email password password confirmation and gender of course we will need the gender of user to recommend items to him or her again to make things less complicated we will not ask for 
other details but yes we can add a option here to get the address or we can let the user put it through the account anyways we like it on the sign in page it will be very simple we will have the email and password and we can log in the account page will look something like this where we will have the navigation breadcrumbs and the title then we will acknowledge the user or welcome the user we will have the small account summary name email phone and address of the user where we will have the edit option also in the next section we will provide the last five order summary where user will directly provide the option to return or refund or ask for any complaint in this section directly or if he wants to go to any older orders we can have a see all button here that will provide an option to go to all the orders that are available in the account this is again a try so that user don't have to do a lot of things to raise a complaint for the product before footer we will also provide a bar which will provide the email address or the phone number using which they can connect to the customer support or the website support easily this page will have about a section our mission or anything else what the client wants to add then we will have contact info of the client or the seller then we will have email form where they can provide their details and they can send email to the team so that they can get a reply back in the next section we will have a store locator where we will be providing all the store details which are static meaning we have to provide all the details available for a store in advance after this section we will have a bar which will hold all the hyperlinks to refund policy terms and conditions and privacy policies one thing to note here is we are trying to do all things as per the requirements from the client keeping in mind our persona so these two things you have to always keep in mind that what the customer requires and what is our ideal user on the next page we will have refund return policies terms of use and privacy policies this is a very simple page where we will have all the policies listed here as per the client then again we will provide a bar that will provide the option to contact customer support or the support email of the client until here we were seeing the website through users i now let's see how the seller will see his dashboard so this is how the dashboard will look like on the left side we will have all the things that user can do or the menu on the top we will have a logo title of the page on the right side top we will have an option to log out or view the website on the dashboard we will provide the overall performance first which will contain total sale how many returns are there and what is the net sale so these three things will provide us the revenue this return means how much money is returned and sale will be how much money is earned and the difference between them will be the net sale after this we will have all the categories how many categories we have and how many products we have then we will have a weekly chart where we will see how much revenue is earned per day for a week after this we will have how many orders we will have this can be daily or this can be weekly or this can be monthly based on you and the client so out of total orders these many orders are returned and then we will have a very important part of the dashboard which will identify or which will notify the seller about the inventory let's suppose if the stock of a product is less than 10 so these products will be listed here and we will have a see all button so that we can see all the products that have low stock or low inventory so that we can either delete it or we can update it this is about how the dashboard will look and in the next page we will have the inventory so we will have all the options here just for identifying this i am writing just inventory title we can search for any product in the inventory first of all we will have minimum inventory this section is just like the dashboard where minimum inventory was notified to the seller this will behave same we will provide four or five very low stock inventory to the seller and we will have the option to see all then we will have all inventory which will consist all categories and all products inside them and now looking at this page we can also include a section where we are using category also like men's category women's category so that it is easy for us to go through the products but anyways we can have a search option to search for any particular product 
Next page is about order management. So a seller will have two type of orders. One will be orders that are in shipping and one will be in delivered condition. Here we will have all the information about the order and to make this website easy to use for the seller also we are providing direct action button here which will be marked as deliver or not delivered something like that. As of this time we don't have any information about how the seller will be connected to the transport or the delivery team. So we are just providing an action here. But if user wants that option also that page also we can always get the requirements updated and design. We will have five to six orders on top and we will have a see all button to see all the recent orders that are not delivered yet and same goes with the returns or refunds or complaints for the product. We will have the product details or order details here and we will have a small action button like accept deny or whatever the client wants us to do. And again we will have the see all button. One thing to note here is if we see at the dashboard there is some update button or add option button add category add product add deal offer we can design pages for this also but I am ignoring this why because when I will be doing the backend I know they will just look like a form so I don't want to waste my time on this but you can always add pages for this in your UI so these are all the pages that we will roughly require for our website but again we can change things as we go along now we will download the Adobe XD from adobe.com if we go to adobe.com this will be the home page if we go to creativity and design we will have all the features and the products from adobe we want xt as i've already mentioned you there are other platforms also like figma where we can design the ui so it is totally based upon you and your interest which software you want to use but i will be using adobe xt here we will have two options if we are going for individual we can go for startup plan if we are just trying out the UI design or we can buy or subscribe to the Adobe XT which will be 797 Indian rupees. My suggestion here is if you are just trying out for practice we should always go for starter because in starter and single app there will be no difference if we go down and if we look for the similarities or features we can see the only difference will be the sharing of the documents and I believe if you are a beginner you will not require these options but if you want to make a profession out of it you can always go for the subscription of 797 Indian rupees so according to our requirements we can either go with the free plan or the subscription plan so until now we have prepared the brief of the project we have prepared wireframe on the page we have our app downloaded and in the next video we will see how we can set up this app and we will start using the app to make a wireframe. With this I conclude this part. If you like the video hit the like button so that YouTube will know that my videos are good and it will recommend to other viewers also. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like my work please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any further videos. If you want to be a part of decision making on what video should be uploaded on the channel you can always support us on Patreon where we will be taking votes on what videos to make if we have enough people. At the end don't forget to follow us on the social media handles present in the description. I will see you in the next video. Until then this is Somvir taking your leave. Adios.